Hello, everyone. I hope you all had a very nice week. Somebody mentioned free subs, so be on the lookout in case anyone's getting hungry. All right. Uh, we're playing a video game, right? Yeah. Somewhere. Right here. I haven't even looked at the options yet. Looks good to me. Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called themselves the Dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. I don't know why I'm giving this narrator an accent, but it seems like he needs one. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the Dungeons. They... I didn't even get to the name. Among the settlers, two groups shined bright as heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons.
Very uh, Legend of Zelda, the way the, the boards pan across. Or Binding of Isaac, I guess you could say. Uh-oh. How do I jump? Oh, okay. I can roll. Or tumble, I guess that is. What's this guy got going on here? Can I attack? Ooh. That didn't go well at all. Over on the corner it says X and A and it's got a hammer, but if I press X and A, nothing seems to be happening. Do I have to equip something? Walking into him does not help. I've learned that. Rolling into him doesn't help either. Yep, this is going to be the rest of the night. Hope you all enjoy. Let me make sure there's nothing weird with the, that I'm missing. Main attack A. That's what I want to do. Change mounts. Uh, weapon. I pressed all of these buttons, by the way. Not quite that many. Okay, I just have to get really close to him and then I can roll through him. Silly. And then I walk into water spit pellets. Oh gosh. What happened? I don't know how long that was out. I know it was working at one point. Yeah. You, oh, now I can hit things. Nothing changed. I like that it's like a broom.
looks a little... almost looks like an opening here, but I guess not. Oh, so I can do two different attacks. Check that out! I got a little charge attack with my broom. Sweep! I like the little whiskey sounds that the that the broom makes. Oh, I never actually played Link to the Past. I played uh, the first one. But it definitely does have some Zelda influences here. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah! Alright, now I got some inventory going on here. A white stone. I've always wanted a white stone. Put that right there. And a broken sword. I've never wanted a broken sword. Oops. Hey, Zatno. What's this? What's this? What's this? An ancient pot. Yeah. We don't like ancient pots. We don't like those new pots. Pots. The this pendant allows merchants to return from dungeons in exchange for an exchange of gold. Oh, I should look at that quick move next time. I, I saw that down the down below. Right button, quick move. I'll remember that. Because I was doing some slow moving. Next room. Ooh, what's going on here? Whoa, hey, 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 hey. You need to not do that. There's a lot going on in there. Holy crap, I'm stuck. Okay then. Oh man, I dropped all that stuff. I got kicked out. He said, we're done with you. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, we'll... I have you now. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you are curious of the dungeons. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. 
And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of, of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. I've heard that before. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through... Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open up, open up the shop and allow the customers in. Well, that was quick. See that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them, and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you'll have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information. You have gathered on Discovered wares and artifacts. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. That was quick. I best head off. You'll pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory, that responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood. will make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Go on now, these weary bones of mine must rest. Yeah, it uh, does remind me of Reset. I don't know if it was Reseteer or Reketeer or Reketeer. Reketeer. In my head, I always just said Reketeer. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, but... Yeah, I hate these crates. Oh, wait, wait. Except those metal ones I can't break. The people of Rhinoka are so accustomed to culture artifacts from the dungeons. They have become a part of our daily lives. Even a part of our food. They eat artifacts?
I saw you in the dungeons earlier, mister. Did you bring me anything mysterious? Not so much. Masa, my son, when I find you. Oh, Will, have you seen Masa around by chance? Uh, he's right here. I found... He's got a lot of snot. Man, blow your nose, Masa. Jeez. Have you found any new culture artifacts in the dungeons, Will? I always found it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeons appear to be from entirely different civilizations with unique cultures. Thanks, Maury. In I go. Golem dungeon. So I don't know enough about this game to know if the dungeons are like, uh, are they like procedurally generated or are they the same every time like a Zelda game? I don't know. This is a little better than a broom. Though that broom did have some reach. Oops. I gotta be careful. Uh, once you start a swing, you can't move. So you can you can lock yourself into the animation. And that could be bad. Shield up. Can't do that charging move, I guess. Let's see if I can block his attack. Yeah! Oh no, he got through. Man. So I can block the first one. quick to turn to face me. I'm stuck. I don't like this loogie hawker. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this map? Diagram? Whatever it is. I was right? 
They called me crazy, said old Crazy Pete done gone lost his marbles, but I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door of Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Big boss gonna kill me. I suppose to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, big boss gonna be so upset with little me. That's not much of a map. What are you showing me here? Little things go in the purse. Once you fill those little things, then you can press B and charge, and then you go to a house. I guess it's time to go. Good night, Sentinel. Ah, the, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly, huh? It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You... you found old Pete. Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifact you need from the Golem Dungeon and look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on that town board that may in interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Renoka. Nice indeed. for any of this stuff. You still haven't found him? He was like three feet away from you a second ago when I came through here. Are you guys all going to say the same thing?
So I can place some items for sale here. What do we got? A crystallized energy. Glass lenses. I don't remember what... What did we sell that... Uh, I know we sold like a the crystal -y things before. I don't see them in the book and no. Hmm. Maybe that was just part of the tutorial so it didn't keep them on there. I I just remember the one sold for like or the one is for sale for 170 and they didn't like that. Oh, maybe it's on another page here. Here we go. Well, no, it wasn't that. There it is. That's the one. Okay. So... They were happy to get it for a hundred, and they said no way at a hundred seventy. So, so I'll put it here, right? Um, okay. Um, and we'll say 120. How about that? What else we got that we could sell? A teeth stone. We got a bunch of it, so maybe we'll try some. Oh, that's a good. Okay, so I can just pan over and it'll take me to that page. I didn't have to go through that, all that scrolling. It's good to know it anyway. I have no idea what to charge for it though. Let us try fifty. We'll sell one more thing. Let's see what they think. I should have changed the price on that thing. Since I know that's not going to sell. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it down to 150. Then I have one for 120 and one for 150 and kind of see what sells, what doesn't. Oh, he didn't like 120 either. So let me just go ahead and just drop that price right now. 
I'll do 110. And... Yay! <laughs> the old man that that was dissatisfied didn't even buy it. The old other two people did after I dropped the price. Ah, I got more people coming in. I'm gonna have to. This is gonna be like management sim. Can I sell like a stack of things? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Oh, nice! It automatically applied the multiplier, so I didn't have to uh, adjust it up for for each uh, item. that price I like that I can like just adjust things on the fly this went for a hundred last time so I'm gonna bump it up a little bit to 120 and see if it still goes Didn't like this at 120. Let me do 110. Am I just like, I guess I'm hitting on the max prices because so far every time I bump anything, I'm up. It, uh, they're like, no way. Ooh, that one she liked. quite had the things down to like put the full stack right away that works let's say 30 well, it's a root, so it probably isn't all worth all that much. I'll do 10. Oh, 
Oh, so she came in looking for armor. That's kind of cool that it tells you that. So you get like maybe quick run and, and put some on the shelves or on the table, whatever. Day's over. All right, let's see how we did. We sold some crystallized energy. We sold some glass lenses and some whetstone iron bars. We made 130 coins. Pretty good. Looks like the population popularity of the iron bars is going down. Time to close the shop. Oh, it's already... Okay. <laughs> I like the little signs above it. Home. And this is uh, down to the shop. Bedtime. I didn't know I was going to reopen the shop right away, so I guess I should take my stuff back out. So I can sell it. Oh, he's buying it. He's buying it anyway.
<laughs> they don't like the price of that stuff, but they're buying it up. Well, that's all I had of it anyway, so... Day's over, folks. Time to head out. Killed me fast. Death by misadventure. I'll go a different way. Ooh, what's this? Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Am I going to die if I go into this? Hmm, it's just a little pond. pot and some foundry rests. Uh-oh. Big guy. Woo! He took all my health. Well, I guess it, it looked like he did, but it's not all done. Oh, crap. 
I'm at the... This is not gonna go well for me. Man. Yeah, okay. That guy hurt. Water lamp, hardened steel. Destroys one artifact curse in the direction shown when placed. Hmm. It's got that aspect where you never know if, uh, you're going to go just a, a room too far and end up in a, something you can't handle yet. Is it better to go back it, or to leave while you can and have stuff to sell? Or do you risk it? It's kind of a... Oops. Oh, I fell down the hole. Got me. I'm stuck in a bubble. No. Oh, oh, phew. Yeah, healing thing.
Is that Pete? How did you end up here, Pete? I don't like going on that red stuff. It makes me slow. Ooh, fabric. Artifact must be placed at the top or bottom of bag. Interesting. I think I've about gone as far as I dare on this run. I'll do one more room. My inventory's full anyway, so I guess it's a good time to good time to head back. I think what I what I need to do is is uh, do some runs like that where I'm not like taking on a big boss and then be able to uh, go to one of these guys and upgrade visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments and Chapman and Chapman and this guy's got uh a forge. Since I'm going to be selling first, let me look and see what uh, upgrades I can do for my shop. Uh, I can't really afford any of these things except for almost... Well, not even almost this one. So, I guess I won't be doing shop upgrades yet. What's up here? Holy crap, that's a lot of money. Ooh, you're gonna decorate. So he's gonna build a shop there. Yay! Let's do the other shop. So I did get do I get some sort of return on my investment? I like I gave helped them put down for their shop. Do I get like a discount or some payments back on my loan with interest? What do I what do I get? Um Oi, you must be Will, no? The one who requested my request. I'm Fabric bandana. So it looks like I can do all the crafty stuff from this guy. Um, ooh, I can do a wish list? I'm gonna do a wish list. Yeah, let's say, I'm going to say that this uh, weapon that does plus 500 damage, that's on my wish list. Oh, it only lets you put things that you have unlocked on your wish list, sadly.
Well, I'll say the, uh, this bit of armor, since I'm close to having the materials for it. Let's go see what she's got over here. So the buying potions also takes some materials. Holy crap, all my gold is gone. I can't do much of anything. Okay. Well, time for me to open up my own shop for the day and make some money back. Still should go for. Say 150. That's probably too expensive. We'll say 100. Even that's probably too expensive for just a single. Well, actually, these don't have a stack. Yeah, hardened steel. So that's a single unit. So I can do 150. See what happens. Worst case scenario, they'll frown at me, and I can just change it. She liked it for 150. Let's try 200. Still likes it at uh, 200. I uh, I was undercutting. How curious! A lamp, not a flame, but of glowing water. Heavier for sure, but more reliable in the long run. I wonder how much that would fetch. Let's try 300. A golem core. I should probably just do one of these because I don't know what the price yet is yet in case I'm underbidding Oops. try that Hmm. 
300 is too much. Let's try 200. Yeah, 200 worked. milky white sphere or some unknown material containing water emitting a strange almost eerie light Gold runes. These gold runes can create wonderful patterns upon golems. Occasionally, you can retrieve one intact after battle. Uh, pretty good haul. Made about a grand. A little over. Poor steel rods are still uh, low in popularity. can run out and kill some monsters.
going on here? Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Renoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. And they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to be seem to build themselves around the one entering. A unique maze for each person, never the same labyrinth twice. One must ask though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these these are quest are the questions. Many right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside, just for some gold, some fame. But not I, no, it's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what, I'm here for the how and why. Where is he now? Apparently I got an achievement, achievement for finding that place. I can only switch weapons. Artifact remains hidden while currently in dungeon. Interesting.
I'm not sure. I'll have to look and see how some of that stuff works. All the cursing and stuff like that in your inventory or whatever. It's kind of interesting. But I'm uh, filled up at the moment, so we're getting out of here. Oh, look, so I, I think I lost an item because I didn't deal with that inventory thing. So I guess that you got to take care of that. I think that's what that means. Interesting. Might as well open the shop right up. That's a good shank of money. He bought that stack for 550. Yes, sir, I will sell that to you. Ooh, and another one for 440. And they really love that price. Man, they're buying me out. it at 100 pop it up to 110 never sold these before so let's try 50 I think that that's too expensive let's try 30 Empowering crystal. A raw crystal source of magic power. Hmm. How much should that go for? Got an achievement for 
that says good merchant. So many of these iron bars, but they're not doing so great on popularity. I'll sell at least one of them. I don't need all this. Well, I guess I could store it for later. Good night, everybody. How'd we do? How'd we do? They love those golem cores, and I couldn't sell that hard in the steel for enough. Every time I raised it, they're like, yes, yes, I still want it. Wow. 4,695. I'm rich. Hmm. Of course, I sold all my crafting materials, so I can't get any of that stuff. Additional space for their items. That could be cool. cash register you it will entice customers to add an extra 10% tip when paying it's pretty generous I think that's a good use of my money I don't think I can buy any potions or anything from her I don't think I have any materials for it Yeah, okay, rich jelly. I need to remember that that's what that takes. Is that for all of them? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. I kind of did spend it all in one place. Or at least a third of it or whatever. But it was one place. Some fabric. These things sell pretty good, these gold runes. Gold runes.
No, I hate these little jelly things that grab me. It's not nice. So, I was attacked by a moving rock today. Can you imagine a rock that moves? I did what any sensible person would do in this situation. I smacked it right back, and it shattered upon the ground, leaving behind a stone heart. A core, as we have come to call it. It's one of the many unique treasures that can only be found in this dungeon. Dropped by, dropped by a guard unique to only this dungeon. I have to say, each of these dungeons have a very particular environment. A culture all its own. fighting this thing in a small area. It hurts. I thought I was going to fall there for a second. Dang it. Man. I shouldn't have lost so much health to those little guys. One hit on him. God, that's eleven.
So I think I need to pay attention to what's up here because I, I think the things that end up uh, on your person, you keep even after you die. So I need to like, if I think I'm gonna die, put the good stuff up there. Or maybe just put the, make sure the good stuff ends up going there as I go along. Man, I'd lost a lot of help from those cheapy little guys in that last room. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you? Doesn't do anything while... Man! Well, all right then. You showed me. Twelve! They're like moths, like moths to the flame, I tell you. These adventurers, so many attracted to the dungeons, so many to only feel the burn. Luckily, if you pass out in the dungeon from exhaustion or pain, it spits you out, eventually. It's a messy ordeal, no one really knows what happens, but one eventually wakes up outside the dungeon, with only a small, with only small traces of slime nearby, and, well, any injuries they may have accumulated inside. Yes, some have left the dungeons uh, left the dungeons to never return, but plenty have stuck it out. Many enjoy the thrill of the fight, many looking for that big payday. There really is so much more to these dungeons, though.
Yay, healing. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? We already read this one. I'm a little worried. Is there going to be something in this room? I'm locked in. This one isn't too bad, though. That's what I need to start doing, tumbling out instead of trying to shield. Uh, I think that fills me up. Let's trade these. Oh no, dang it, I didn't want to do everything. We want to do just that. Because these are worth more. something Sell my jelly this time.
Good night, everybody. Pretty good, pretty good. I take all my po my jelly? Oh, okay, there is five. Okay. I was like, I was looking in the top right corner and I, I saw just one. I was like, what? nice gameplay loop you, you know you do a little fighting and you do a little uh, uh, merchant type stuff I actually kind of been I think I actually kind of enjoy the uh, the store management stuff uh, part a little better at the moment just because it's kind of fun uh, putting the stuff up and adjusting the prices and all that kind of stuff not that this part is bad just kind of a lousy place for the healing fountain right at the, at the door before you take any damage. At least I know where it is. I can go back and heal it. to go back right now. <clears throat> Time to go take a bath. Ah, nice healing bath. Oh no, not you. Ah, oh crap. I suck at the uh, tumbling through his AoE. I couldn't go into my inventory. I should have uh, changed. I had just the one equipped. I should have equipped the five stack of potions. I could have healed my way through it at least. But you can't do it once you start the fight. That's the bad part. Oh, I got kicked out. You can't keep me out. I'm coming right back in. Take that.
the heck is that? Oh, there's a chest down there. Nice. It's interesting. It's like it's it's kind of the order of everything is rearranged, but I recognize some repeating rooms. Like I know I've been in this room before, but it was in a different place. Yeah, that is kind of cool. I imagine once you get kind of get the hang of it and know how to move and fight and everything, you can kind of kind of uh, sit back and relax and kind of just grind through whatever you want to do. <laughs> okay, at least that didn't make me start over. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can get that little bit of health left. See that five health missing? Missing? Never happened. Never happened. But once you get some weapon upgrades, this stuff kind of becomes trivial too. You can probably one hit a lot of the small stuff. What's in here? Ooh, wow. This is totally different. That's kind of cool. Ooh, a book. I don't know what this flower's gonna do. Okay, it shoots things. Whoa, the things get twisty turvy. You see that? Oh, crap. I need to back out of there. My health was low. Let me uh, equip that. I didn't have any potions equipable. All right, now I can go back in. See, it wouldn't let me do that during the boss, and that's what screwed me over, because I only had one potion. I wonder what that book was. A golem volume. Hmm. I'm going to do what I said I should do and put my expen the expensive stuff on my person.
Look at the little eyes peeking out at me. They go away when I get near. Where do they... I guess I should head back. This text is too worn, too faded to be legible, but the carvings upon the stone cover are meticulously detailed. I wonder what that's worth. Hmm. A thousand dollars. They're gonna frown so hard. That hardened steel always sells, man. It sold for 400. That's not bad.
I don't know what this is priced at yet, so I'm gonna try it. Uh, what's it say? It's a piece of a container for preserving the properties of infused water. Uh, start with 30, I guess. Not too bad. Nothing's losing popularity or gaining it. All right. I guess that's where I'll, I'll call it. The character can go to bed and then we can go to bed. Uh, yeah, it's a kind of cool game. I, I could uh, see getting into this just as a kind of a casual thing. You, you just kind of get into a nice kind of loop, you know, where you... Yeah, yeah, go farm stuff and sell stuff, farm stuff and sell stuff, and do some upgrades along the way, and have a little good time doing it. Maybe that story goes a little further. I don't, I don't know if that develops into anything or not, but yeah, it's kind of a neat game. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time.